The Lakers won the offseason. The one move I don't get is D'Lo. Lakers fans, they called him the best point guard in 15 years. And then he was sitting out fourth quarters in the postseason. Bron needs shooters around him. Guys where if he's going to drive in and kick it out, you need to hit it. is a good shooter, but sometimes he's not the most consistent guy. But they didn't overpay for him so much with like the second apron and the new CBA is just being able to have flexible contracts. And the Lakers did that. When you look at D'Lo, I don't really think we had a better option. He's not terrible. Gabe Vincent was a good signing for them. Obviously, they got Reeves and Rui back. Everybody thought they were going to get the bat but obviously they stayed the lakers were the second best team in the nba after the trade deadline they were in the western conference finals they got swept gave vincent torian prince jackson hayes is that winning you four games in the conference finals maybe not i guess my issue is it seems like they're locked in they're gonna have chemistry because they're gonna play 82 games with this team but what happens at the deadline when there's moves to be made what draft picks do you have what young pieces do you have like you kind of sign veteran guys to long-term deals